So now what? I've got my deep sky dad flat panel, my automated flat panel on my scope. So now what do I do? Well, I'm going to have to train it. And to train it, I'm going to use Nina. Nina has a flat panel wizard. And in the flat panel wizard, you can go through and you can train Nina to understand how long it needs to take your flats for and at what brightness it needs to take them for. And that's what's coming next. All right, so here I am in Nina. And I am assuming that you've got your camera connected. Uh, I'm cooling my camera here and I'm waiting to get down to negative 10. And we are at negative 570. You can see that it's 81% power to get down there. That's because, well, it was a pretty warm day today. It got not up to triple digits, but it was like 97 degrees. And it's cooled down a little bit. We're probably in the low 80s right now so that's why you can see that it's taken a lot of power to get it down to negative 10 but we'll get there no problems I'm assuming that you have a filter wheel and you see mine here is LRGB H hydrogen sulfur and oxygen and I've got my flat panel connected which in this case is the deep sky dad flat panel version number one and I have it currently toggled on the flat panel light. And so now we're going to go into the flat wizard. And this is where we're going to do our training. So I'm going to set up for this thing to take five flats. I'm not going to worry about dark flats because dark flats, you don't have to worry about the light and what the light settings are because the panel is going to be turned off anyways and so it's going to be in darkness so right now we're just worried about training for the flats and to do that because we have a filter wheel with multiple filters we're going to go here into multi mode and as you can see here in multi mode I have all of my filters expanded and Let's change this to one just so we can see how it's going to work. So I already know from experience that flat panel brightness of 100 for LRGB works just fine. And that will give me a pretty decent flat. For my narrow band filters, you see I've got a flat panel here of 400. And even then that will give me some decent flats but I'm going to bump that up to 600 because sometimes uh, or at least in my case the flats that I had were you know 20 to 30 seconds and they don't they, and they don't need to be that long and I take like 35 flats typically so we'll just go through here an initial test going through the filter wheel here of one and we'll see what we come up with. Well, I thought it was going to be L for luminance. Oh, might help if I turn them on. <laughs> uh, you got to love Nina. There we go. I got to turn them all on. It went to execute and it's like, no, nah, none of the filters are turned on. Sorry. All right. Now let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, so for oxygen, we're at 8.46 seconds. For sulfur, we're at 36. Let's see, we're at a little over half a second. So I can probably drop that down to 50, drop this up to 200. We'll leave those where they are. And drop these or bump these up to maybe 800 or maybe a thousand then 800 so I'm going to go back here to my flat wizard and I'm going to go to sulfur bump that up to a thousand this 1000 oxygen 800 I'm going up here to red 400 
and I'm going to make this one hair 50. through this again and we'll see where we're at we're doing the luminance okay we're at 1.21 1.02 Okay, and now we're down to 0.97, so we're almost at a second. We're just Okay. Yeah. So let's let me do something strange. Let me bump that down to 25. Okay. So let's go to equipment, let's go to flat panel, and here we go. So we got the hydrogen down. Um, all of these are respectable. Oxygen, I'll bump, bump that up to 1,000. I'm going to bump um, sulfur up to 3,000, and I'm going to bump hydrogen up to 2,000. So let's go back to the flat wizard, and hydrogen. I said I was going to do 2,000. This one was going to be 1,000. And this one here was going to be 3,000. Alright. So let's just do hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Okay, so let's go back to our flat panel. Okay, so we're getting down. Uh, that's fine. So I'm going to bump this up by 500, each of these by 500. I might actually bump the oxygen up to 2000. And so let's go back to the flat wizard. And I'm going to go to hydrogen and make that 3,000. Three. And I'm going to make this one 35. And I'm going to make this one 2. Okay. Hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, go. So, we're pretty good. Um, I'm okay. Sulfur is about a second more than what I really wanted to, but I'm already pushing the flat panel at 3,500. It can go up to 4,096. I just tend not to push things if I don't have to. Uh, oxygen, we got that down to two seconds, and hydrogen is 4.2, and my luminance, you see there, is 2.07. My red is 119. Green is 163. Blue is 140, and then hydrogen is 420, and then sulfur is 621. So, sulfur will take me a couple minutes, about two and a half minutes. So, basically, if I'm doing a narrow band session, it's going to take me about five minutes to do my flats. And then I can move on to my next target. If I'm doing LRGB, I'm looking at just a couple of minutes to do my flats. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy, but that is pretty much it. And as you can see, I could adjust the settings any way that I wanted to um, in terms of the brightness, and I could still go back and do sulfur again. Let me just go ahead and let me just do sulfur. Let me bump this thing up to 4,000 just because I want to. Let's see if we can get that down. So that's just about full max brightness at 4,000.
Yeah, it's dropping down to 5.37. Not very much. Sulfur is a bear. Sulfur too is a bear. Yeah. So if we go to equipment and we go to the flat panel, yeah. So even bumping it up to 4,000, which is pretty much the max, um, I'm only down to 5.37 seconds. So that's the best that I can get with this particular panel. So that's still not too bad. That's, you know, five and a half seconds. I can do, I can do um, about a minute and a half for sulfur flats. That's not too bad. So anyways, so that's pretty much it. It's really that straightforward. It's really that easy. And like I said here with a flat panel, I can adjust my brightness so that I can get my flats to the range that I want them. Uh, I did try this at 50 and it was under a second and I really wanted to be over a second. I don't want anything to be under a second just because I want there to be enough exposure time for the, for the camera itself. And this is at negative 10. Let's see, camera, yeah, we're at negative 10. And you can see that I'm at 84% cooler power. And what's the temperature? What's the weather? Oh, I don't have the Pegasus, so that's why it's not open weather. Mm, yeah, we are at 28 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's a bit warm. Anyways, so that's at negative 10 degrees for the, for the camera, and you can see, I'm going to go ahead to the flat panel, what my training sessions come out to be. Okay, so now we got our flats trained. So now what do we do? Well, that will be in my next video. So until next time, clear skies and happy guiding, and... Keep an eye out for the next video.